right, guys. So we're here at the iHeart Radio Studios at, in Oklahoma City. News Radio 1000 KTOK. We're about ready to get on air with Glenn Faulkner. Look at from 95 to 2000. Uh, we did a call in radio shop show every week called Moving On Up, the weekly real estate magazine. And the first two years that we did the show, we brought in the local expert, the legend. That is. Gwen Faulkner Lippert. And she was gracious enough to spend the first two years with us on the radio show to really kind of teach us how to how to do that. And she still does a show here on News Radio 1000 KTOK. So she's invited us to stop by and spend a little time with her tonight. Uh, very happy to do so. Great to get to see her after such a long time. And um, this is gonna be something very, very cool. News Radio 1000, KTOK, Gwen Falk and her Lippert. Tonight is very special. It's kind of like a reunion of sorts. And have you ever wanted to do something and then you meet someone that actually does it and you already know them? Here with me in studio are David and Tiffany Wade. Now, David Wade and I go way back for when uh, we he was on KTOK on a real estate show years ago. And then he and his wife, Tiffany, moved to Florida, and recently we reconnected because David and Tiffany are adventure seekers. And if you want to see what they've been up to, you need to go on Facebook or Instagram or their website, Best Life Adventure Channel, and you will be amazed. You're actually doing, David and Tiffany, what everybody has on their bucket list or says they're going to do when they grow up or whatever. How did it come to you that you were going to become travelers and document it and let everybody go with you? Well, that that's the best life, right? You know, the things that are on your bucket list are the things that are going to be your best life. And by the way, this is so great to see you. It's been so long. You're going to get me all emotional. Oh my goodness, <laughs> uh, fantastic. We're we're very grateful to be here. Yes. Thanks for having Plus, us. Well, when people know why you're here, he doesn't or they don't just travel. They're doing something called the Trans America Trail, and the operative word I believe <laughs> is. Trail. It is back roads and off roads, coast to coast, more than 9,000 miles, and you never see a highway. Never see a highway. So you're four-wheeling? In many instances, yeah. We've got four-wheel drive. Um, we're set up for that. Uh, but it's intended um, for anybody to be able to do it. You don't necessarily have to be. I mean, we see people in cars and trucks, and um, it was originally designed for folks that were on their adventure bikes. And they would and get them mm -hmm. off the the highways and right. all that. Exactly, exactly. So, get them away from the eighteen yes. wheelers and how see did you all the country discover the Trans America Trail? I had never heard of it until David called out of the blue and said, "Hey, <laughs> we're coming through Oklahoma." <laughs> yes. So a, a few years ago, when COVID hit, um, it's kind of funny. Condense it as quickly as I can. We we actually had a poker group, but then when the when COVID rolls through, it's like, does it really make sense to be sitting shoulder to shoulder? <laughs> um, passing food and drinks and cards during a worldwide pandemic, and we know nothing about it. So we we stopped playing poker. We started a Jeep club, an off-road community in Orlando called the Dirty Bunch Jeep Club, all because Tiffany one day puts out on Facebook, hey, who wants to take their Jeep out to get dirty today? And 13 people showed up. Two and a half years later, we've got 900 members that are so going to get our Jeep So this is Tiffany's dirty. great idea. <laughs> the Dirty Bunch Initially, Jeep. yes, I guess. Wow. So um, through that group, we began to learn a lot of things about off-road trails. Um, this is one of the ones. It's a, a guy named Sam Carrero. He created the Trans-America Trail in the 80s. It took him over a decade to do it. He just wanted to be able to ride his motorcycle without having to deal with all the trucks on the highway and everything. Wow. We just began piecing together these trails, and eventually, this is what he has. And you're crossing America, not on... I-40 or <laughs> exactly. any of that. And it's taking a lot of time. And not, not really on state highways either. There are some. So um, 
the trails are all connected. They're in pieces. They're in segments. So like the state of Tennessee had 21 tracks. And so this track will be connected. But then there might be a section of blacktop that connects this track to that track. And so there is, um, depending on the track, there's, I don't know, 40% blacktop on this particular track. There maybe there's zero blacktop on the next track. Well, then I would equate this to farm to market roads. Mm-hmm. Kind yeah, of, a lot of it kind is. Of a exactly. lot of it is. So, Tiffany, what do you see when you take this Trans America Trail? Um, I would say you're seeing the country that that you don't see when you're on the fast lane and you're just going and going. It kind of slows you down, and you get to see the backbone. Of America, um, what makes us function and as a country and that sort of thing, the farmlands, the farmers, um, wild animals that you paid to go see at the zoo, you're seeing like right in front of you in the wild, in nature. And it's amazing. It's, I mean, it, there's just not a better way to describe it than it's just amazing. Well, on the site where you get the maps of how to do this, 9,000 miles. Right. How many states? I believe it was 22. I'd have to double check, mm-hmm. but it was somewhere in that area. Visit more than 20 states. That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. And you're on these back roads. Yeah. How fast do you go on the back road? Depends on that road. <laughs> uh, it definitely depends on that road. We, when we first started, so uh, we, we actually started in the Outer Banks in North Carolina at the Atlantic Ocean Coast, and we came inland. And the first few tracks were blacktop, and we're doing 45, 55 miles an hour. You say, this is nothing. Exactly. Yeah. We're moving right along. Then we get into Virginia, and the, the roads changed. And now we're on the back roads, and so the gravel... By the time we got to West Virginia, we were crawling. Mm-hmm. The roads were so narrow and winding, and um, you'd be very taking narrow. Very narrow. It's just so like a one for, car. Like yeah, it, we're used it, to one car exactly, bridge. If you're lucky, one car but width. Then yeah. as you come around the corner, there's an 18 wheeler coming at you. Oh. Um, there, What's he that, doing on there? there? I, I asked the same question. Well, wait a minute. What are you no, doing, this Jerry? is Trans America. <laughs> yes. Exactly. I, I had to take the ditch a couple of times just to keep from uh, getting hit head on. Well, yes. and you all are in a, I would call it a, a regular Jeep. It is a gorgeous yeah. <laughs> Jeep. Thank you. It's Thank a, you. It looks like a super Jeep. I mean, like maybe you should it's... be a storm chaser or something <laughs> in this Jeep. And then on the top, you have a tent. Yeah, yep. Is we we, we sleep on top of the Jeep. Every night? Every night. Pretty much. We, we do take breaks. Like every four or five days, we need to probably um, either hit a campground um, that has Showers. facilities <laughs> uh, laundry. Or, or a hotel laundry. room so we can mm-hmm. do laundry. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, as I uh, think I mentioned to Tiffany, someone says, where do you get gas on a trail? <laughs> so you have to plan a little bit. You do plan. So th- we bought the maps from Sam. Okay. Um and we were able to pull those, and we've got software so that we can view the uh, view and, to a certain degree, edit the maps mm-hmm. on our phones and on tablets. We uh, we mount the tablets and the phones on the dash so that we can we can see um, both of us can see what's going on, what's coming up. And I before we actually left home, I pulled them up on my computer, zoomed in, brought in other maps, and tried to identify in advance. Hey, there's going to be gas here. The Walmart Supercenter here. Hey, maybe we should camp here. So we at least had some waypoints on that map to give us at least a start. And then the rest of it's what we call booga booga. You're just going to have to figure it out. Booga booga. Booga booga. (laughs) (laughs) And we ask ourselves, well, well, what are we going to do? Booga booga. Mm -hmm. (laughs) How fun. That is so fun. And, um, do you, do you do this live? Can people watch you do this live? Or are you going to make a documentary? What, what is the ultimate goal? So um, we've got several different things going on. We're, we're making a docu-series that's going to be on our YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel is Best Life Adventure Channel. Correct. What a great Correct. name. And So that's where all of the, the produced material is going to go. But then throughout... The trip, we've got a lot of live stuff that's just flowing out onto Instagram primarily and then also onto Facebook. So Instagram and Facebook 
at Best Life Adventure Channels where you see all the day-to-day stuff. You see the silly stuff going on with our dog and everything else. Um, you really kind of get to see behind the scenes, I guess. How fun. And it, It's funny because when we put uh, Boomer, our dachshund that's on the trail with Boomer, us. Boomer, yes. On uh, Boomer Sooner. <laughs> on the, um, we put him on Instagram. We get likes through the roof. It's like, well, everybody we loves sh- a dog. Everybody oh, I'm, loves a dog. I'm sure. Everybody, everybody loves Boomer. So um, that's that's been funny to see. Well, it's very special. It's called Best Life Adventure Channel, and you can find it on Facebook or Instagram or their website. We're going to talk more with David and Tiffany Wade as they travel America, 9,000 miles of gravel and dirt roads that wind through little seam parts of the United States, and they are crossing America. News Radio 1000, KTOK. I'm Gwen Falconer Lippert. What if you could travel across America on the back roads? Guess what? You can. It's called the Trans America Trail. I had never heard of it until my friend David Wade and his wife Tiffany called me and said, We're traveling across America. Would you like for us to stop in and tell you all about it? Well, of course, it's so interesting and it probably is on everyone's bucket list. And here, David and Tiffany are actually doing it. 9,000 miles of gravel and dirt roads that wind through little seen parts of the United States. And uh, how did you get enough nerve to start this, David? I think it's a matter of of how do you not do it? Um, Not to try to twist that, but at some point you kind of reach a, a time where it's like we've been putting this off and putting this off and putting this off and for years trying to figure out how do we make this work? And then at some point, you just do. You booga right. booga. You find a way to figure it out and, and do it. And you know what? This thing could just fail miserably for us. How um, could it fail? You're going to have the trip of a lifetime. <laughs> but but a, everyone else can be a part of it, too, if they go to Best Life Adventure Channel and go with you on this trip. That's right. Follow Day to Day on Instagram and Facebook, and you'll be able to watch all of the videos once they've been produced on YouTube at Best Life Adventure Channel. And how fun. And you know, <laughs> even for people that think they might want to do it sometime, or maybe people that have no desire to camp, because it's a lot of camping, mm-hmm. gosh, just to get to see America like right. that would be, I mean, I could see a documentary coming out of this and being yeah. a pledge show on o- OETA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we went through, uh, last week, we went through Smoky National Park, mm-hmm. um, what a fantastic place to be. And everybody comes in and you drive through the main road and you see the mountains. There they are. The Trans-America Trail starts that way. And then it comes around the corner, takes you to the top of the mountain. And at the turnaround where everybody comes and comes back down, there's a little gravel road. No. That's what you're doing. For the next three the, hours, you're driving on and in the Smoky National Mountains. On, Smoky mountains. on the ridge? Yeah. Like? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> And that's yeah. where oh, we see the, the black bears and the and fox the elk. and the elk mm-hmm. and and stuff like that. It's amazing. It's so inspirational, <laughs> isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, I've seen, I went to bestlifeadventurechannel.com <laughs> and I looked at the photography is incredible. Oh, thank you. And you, well, you also say that you work with companies. How do you work with companies? Yeah, so that's something that um, we we're very passionate about our own business because this this is our our business now. Um, but we believe that businesses thrive and survive and do their best work when they're helping other people do that. And what we're we're learning is that there's a lot of folks that would really like to be able to have some of this spectacular imagery, or um, they'd like to have some great photography or video or even drone footage of their own businesses. Drone footage? Yeah, mm-hmm. we've got 4K drone footage. Uh, 60 feet per second. It's, it's fantastic stuff. Um, but we've, we've been helping some folks do some of that. That's not something that we originally intended to do. But, you know, when we've got friends and others that are coming to us and saying, hey, would you mind helping us put something together here? Absolutely. Well, inspirational images. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we've all seen the clip art stuff and the, you know, the standard photo stuff. Your stuff isn't like that. Your stuff is phenomenal. Oh, I actually, you. I actually have a friend um, in Colorado that teaches a spin class at the YMCA, and she she uh, asked if David would put together a series of 
drone footage of the beaches and oceans that she can play during <gasps> her idea. spin during her cycle class. class. Yes. And she puts music to it, and then everybody can see that while they're doing spin class on the video screens of... And it's mm -hmm. the drone footage that he's... Yeah. He's and strangely enough, we've actually found ourselves even doing some little 30-second, one-minute, two-minute commercials for some small businesses. We never, we never force our... We never foresaw ourselves doing that. Mm -hmm. But when we believe in these businesses and want to help these small businesses, we're doing that. And it's also kind of helped us supplement how we pay for this. Like you said before, how do you pay for this? Well, right. you, you find some things along the way like this mm -hmm. that help. Well, you've got a new kind of office. That's right. Where once upon a time, you did real estate. That's what we did together mm -hmm. at yeah. KTOK. And now you've got a whole new career going. Mm -hmm. Living our best life. Yes. And people can follow along. Now, yes. I have never heard of Patreon. What is that? Patreon is an interesting thing. For uh, it was interesting when I learned about it. I, uh, younger generation is all you know, all knowing about this stuff. But for me, um, I hadn't heard about it. Basically, it's a subscription service where people can support the content creators that they enjoy and appreciate, oh, and wow. at the same time, they pick up additional benefits and services. So, like. Um, Right now, we just have like a base level Patreon membership type of deal, nine ninety nine a month. People join, and they're basically saying, "Hey, we want we want to help you guys continue making these." And trust me, we need people to help us continue <laughs> making these. Um, and they pay nine ninety nine ninety nine a month. What they get for that is advanced. Um, they get early access to some of our content. They'll get discounts. They'll get free swag from time to time. But we'll eventually begin to add additional tiers where we'll have. Um, more interaction directly with just those folks. They'll get content that doesn't go out to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or goes out down the road so they got early access. And there'll be benefits that they can get by having those memberships. And that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Patreon. Right, dot com. And, and we have Best a Life we have Adventure a link. Channel. We have a link um, on our YouTube channel and, and our Facebook and our website, too. So you can just click the link and it'll take you to... It's, it's a way that people can help us continue to do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just, I mean, you're taking people where they've never been and probably will never <laughs> go. <laughs> well, and hopefully not just that, but we're also showing them that, you know, you can do this. It is achievable. Um, we're not, you know, spending, you know, large sums of money. We're trying to do it as thrifty as possible. And... You can get out there and do it. You don't have to do it all in one fell swoop. You can do it, you know, in bite-sized pieces. Right. Take a, a week vacation and do it a little bit or two weeks or whatnot. And um, and just get out there and see what the country is like away from media, away from the highway, away, you know, that sort of thing. And just kind of get back in touch with Do you all nature. advise people on how to get started doing this? And we do. All that? We yeah. Do. Mm -hmm. So, but they actually have to buy the maps of the trails from the gentleman you mentioned earlier. Yeah, Sam Carrero. He his website. He he owns TransAmericaTrail.com. Okay. And you go there. There are some spinoffs. People have tried to like basically steal his intellectual Always. property. So you have to look for the one that specifically says with Sam Carrero. Okay. And um, yeah, and you you can purchase the maps from him, and you can buy them. Maybe you just want. Hey, I just want to see Louisiana or whatever oh, state cool. he hasn't broken down by state. That's mm -hmm. great. What a nice gift, mm -hmm. too, to give someone mm -hmm. or to give, you know, if, if you had a relative that would benefit from seeing these inspirational mm -hmm. moments yeah. that you all have with your little dachshund, <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> yes. Everybody oh. loves Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. How can you resist <laughs> Boomer? Okay, 9,000 miles. Uh, you and I were going to talk... Memorial Day, that didn't mm, happen. Yep. You said it takes longer to do than you anticipated. How, yeah. how can you, when do you suppose this will conclude? It's going to conclude July 17th uh, because we have to be back in Orlando by then. Our, our youngest son, who's still ho at home with us, he's 20, begins um, equi the equivalent of the firefighter boot camp. And oh so we goodness. need to be home to take care of the dogs. <laughs> so we're done then. The question is, is how far can we get? Can we get through all of it? All 9,000 or, yeah. you know. And it, 9,000 miles is the actual mileage for the Trans-America Trail. We've added on spurs, an Atlantic Ocean spur, a Pacific Ocean spur. So we'll, we'll literally go from the 
the the Sandy Beach and Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, all the way into Oregon at the ocean there. Um, the original trail would then take you back to Wisconsin, and then of course you've got to get to back to Orlando. Well, we're already over six thousand miles, and we're not halfway through the trip. You can see real quick, this is going to be more like twelve or thirteen thousand miles by the time it's all said and done. And it and it's you don't need to do it all at once. No, mm-hmm. no, I most mean. people don't. Uh, we we just we met with Sam, uh, the oh, you creator. Did. Yes. We stopped. He invited us to come by and stop by his house, and we spent some time talking to him. Fantastic gentleman, and he he told us himself he's actually um, very happy that we're able to go do it in one piece because okay. even though he's created it, he's never been able to do it in one piece, and he he's going to retire next year, and him and his son are going to do it. But he's only ever been able to do it in pieces. So, yeah, I say all that just to say most people do it in pieces. How exciting. Okay, Best Life Adventure channel. Facebook, Instagram, the website, and Patreon, which you can find as well. Uh, David and Tiffany Wade, how fun that you chose me to come and talk to you about. I can hardly wait to see how it goes oh, wow. and uh, how well you do on your trip. It's the Trans-America Trail that they're doing right now. And, yes, it is the adventure of a lifetime. Best of luck to you all and to Boomer, of mm-hmm. course. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank all you. right. If people want to get in touch with you, well, what's the best way? We make it very easy. Uh, you can find the Best Life Adventure Channel YouTube at Best Life Adventure Channel, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon at Best Life Adventure Channel, website, bestlifeadventurechannel.com, or you can email us, contact at Best Life Adventure Channel. That is wonderful. Very good. All right. Well, thank you all for stopping by and happy camping. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Yeah. So it's great seeing you. I'm Gwen Falconer Lippert. You're listening to 1000 KTOK. <laughs> We just finished up the uh, the radio show with Gwen here at uh, News Radio News Radio 1000 KTOK in Oklahoma City on iHeartRadio, and uh, what a fantastic thing! We love seeing Gwen again. That was such a cool thing to do. Um, part of me really misses doing the radio stuff, and it, it, we did that for five years. And Gwen was a huge part of that. She taught me everything I know about that stuff, and. Um, so I, I really miss that, miss seeing her. Uh, it was a real treat to be able to kind of come in and, and, and get a little taste of that once again. 